and how are you? How are you? I thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for tuning in today. How are you? How are you? Hello, my beautiful children. Did you notice that I am dressed in a very elegant way today? Well, it is a special occasion. Today is New Year's Eve. Yes, it's New Year's Eve. Do you and your family have a tradition for New Year's Eve? Can you remember we talked about tradition? What do you and your family usually do? Oh, that sounds like fun. I know some families like to play games. Some families like to get together with some extended family members. Some family members even have a tradition for a meal. They make sure they have their black eyed peas or their collard greens. Are you eating black eyed, uh, black eyed peas or collard greens today? Well, if you are, you have to make sure that you always remember your family tradition. Today, I have a special reading for you, and it's nighttime where I am. Is it nighttime where you are? We are ready to ring in the new year in about a couple more hours. So the story is by Natasha Wings, and it's called The Night Before New Year's. What do you do on the night before New Year's? Do you and your family have a tradition for New Year's? Do you count down for 12 o'clock? Do you watch fireworks? Oh, email me all of your wonderful ideas because I want to know. Well, without further ado, we are going to jump right in to our story, The Night Before New Year's. Twas the last day of December, what we call New Year's Eve. A whole year had flown by. It was hard to believe. We were pretty excited. Our puppy was too. We cheered out the old and in with the new. Oh, please, I begged. Can we stay up till midnight? For this one special evening, my parents told us, all right. So we drove to the store to buy party supplies, hats, horns, and poppers, and sparkly bow ties. At home, we put up all the streamers and balloons. Silver, glitter, and gold stars to twinkle up our rooms. A banner was hung by the ceiling with care in hopes that baby New Year soon would be there. We gathered for dinner a grand late night feast. All of our family's favorites, I ate three cupcakes at least. With the clang of our glasses, we all gave a toast, making New Year's resolution my dad had the most. Did you ever hear that phrase before? New Year's resolution? Basically, it's coming up with goals or ways to improve your life. So you can make a New Year's resolution to be a great student. Or you can make a resolution to be a good big brother or a good big sister or a good helper. What's your New Year's resolution going to be? Do you need more time? That's A-OK. -okay. You don't have to have it tonight. Moving on, it says, But I couldn't come up with one single vow. That's OK, said Mom. You don't have to right now. After dinner was done, we played checkers and charades then broke out the cards for a long game of spades. We shared fond memories. Oh, there were dozens. Holidays and camping trips, a new baby cousin. Do you remember things that happened in the year 2020? What do you remember? What are your best memories? Ah, oh, that sounds like fun. I would have had fun also if I did that, and that would be one of my top 
memories for 2020. It says, our eyelids were droopy, so we ducked out for fresh air. Looks like it's snowing. Do you have snow where you are? I don't. I would love to have some though. Then came in to watch the crowd lining Times Square. One more hour, said Dad, till the new year is here. And we put on our hats, said Mom. Let's practice our cheer. Counting down from 10 without a single mistake, we took our horns and popped poppers. I was now wide awake. Do you want to practice with me? Do you have a horn that you can blow? Are you able to count down from 10? <gasps> Let's try. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We'll count to four, six. Hmm. You're right. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> well, that doesn't work too well. But... That's exactly the way it's supposed to go. So, moving on, it now says, <gasps> my brother chased our puppy all through the house. Sounds like they have lots of energy. Then mom and dad noticed it was as quiet as a mouse. Why do you think it got so quiet? Hmm. <gasps> there was no sound of barking, no little brother chatter. So we sprung from the couch to see. What was the matter? What do you think has happened? Why did it get so quiet in the house? <gasps> when what to all wondering eyes should appear, but two party poopers make that three now. Oh dear, looks like they have fallen asleep. Are you gonna fall asleep before we get to count down to 12? I hope not. If so, maybe someone can wake you up. Maybe you can set an alarm, and when it's 11.55, you just jump up with joy and prepare to count down. That's a good solution. It now says, while our puppy curled up on my father's lap, my brother and I went upstairs for a five minute nap. Do you think they set an alarm? Think someone's gonna wake them up? Hmm. Are they gonna miss the new year? Let's see. We both soon were nested all snuggled in our beds while visions of fireworks dance in our heads. Did you see the fireworks? Oh, I can't wait until we count down for the new year. It says, the next thing I knew, it was sunny and bright. Rat. We miss ringing in the new year last night. Look at the picture. How do we know that they missed it? I think I see the sun shining through. And if the sun's shining through, we know definitely for sure that it is morning. So they definitely didn't miss it. But that's when I came up with my resolution, I believe. I absolutely will stay up for next year's New Year's Eve. The end. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bomb, bomb, bubbly, bop. La 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 la. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like this story and you want to read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. Are you ready to count down for the new year? We're going from 2020 to 2021. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, happy!